What's up everybody, Brandon here, and I'm back with another action figure review, this time from the DC Comics Superhero Showdown. I'm excited because what we have in front of us is something really interesting. We have five Superman figures from five different toy lines by Mattel. We have the Justice League Unlimited Superman, uh, this time in some new 52 colors, which I'm really excited about. The last JLU figure to be released was a long time ago. Uh, we also have the DC Comics Unlimited Superman, this time in brighter colors. We have the standard Dawn of Justice Superman figure. Looks to be no different than the regular released figure. Uh, we have the Total Hero Superman. Uh, looks to be a little darker. And we have the Justice League or Batman the Brave and the Bold Superman figure. Um, I do not know if this toy line is going to be just for Batman and Superman. Uh, there's also a Batman 5 pack as well. Um, they've been on the shelves for a little while now, but I am not sure if we're going to get other figures. Um, different 5 packs, maybe Wonder Woman, Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman. Um, I have no idea yet, but it's definitely exciting that we're getting these little history packs. Um, I picked up this set for 40 bucks at Toys R Us. So just off the top of my head, I know he's about 20 bucks, and he's 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. So it kind of sounds like a good deal, um, but I'm not sure. I do have all five of these figures' counterparts, their original released figures, uh, so we can compare them and find out if you're a collector whether or not you should buy this five pack if you already have the other five figures. So it'll be interesting to see. If we take a look at some of the box art, uh, on the side of the box, we see all five figures. Uh, they look very nice, very bright colored. Same thing on the other side of the box. If we flip to the back of the box, we've got all five of our figures. Again, they all look very, very bright. They all look like they're supposed to be wearing the exact same costume. Uh, but it looks good. It looks very, very good. I like the background art, too. Uh, on the side of the box, we have some regular Dawn of Justice figures. We have Shield Clash Superman, Wonder Woman, and Grapnel Blast Batman. Uh, all three of those figures I've previously reviewed. Um, if you haven't checked out some of my other reviews, please do. There's a lot of other figures there from Dawn of Justice that I've reviewed, too. Alright, looks to be pretty good so far. Superman the Ultimate Collection. So now that we've taken a look at these figures, stay tuned. We're going to see what they look like outside of the box. Alright, so now that we've got these figures out of the box, let's take a closer look. Taking a look first at the Justice League Unlimited Superman, if you know how this toy line works, uh, Justice League Unlimited is based on making their figures absolutely as stunningly closely possible to the way the cartoon looks. Uh, but as a result of that, the articulation is very limited. So we get a great interpretation of the character from the cartoon, uh, but we do not get uh, the articulation that a lot of people are looking for. Um, overall, I really, really do like this figure. I was just thinking the other day, why didn't we get New 52 representations of the Justice League? Um, this is like my all-time favorite toy line. So just to have a new figure again is pretty exciting. Uh, behind the cape. The cape is uh, a rubbery material. Uh, like a hard plastic material. It's not as soft as previous Superman figures. Uh, he also didn't come with the stand. Justice League figures are notorious for falling over. So I, uh, I did give him the stand. But I really do like this figure. He shines incredibly bright. I love the metallic looking paint. It's shiny. Kind of almost glossy. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, in his chest. Very glossy. But I really, really do like this figure. Uh, mine does have a scuff above the S. Uh, right here, I don't know if you can tell. Um, a lot of these figures from these five packs 
they were kind of messed up. You really got to be careful when you're looking at them paint-wise. Um, it may be entirely different for you, I am not sure, but all of the figures at My Toys R Us, uh, a lot of them were, were pretty messed up with their paint jobs, so I have to be careful. Make sure I, uh, I pick one that's right. Okay, if we do a quick comparison um, with the regular Justice League Unlimited Superman, I've got him right here, so we can compare them side by side. Uh, it's um, pretty interesting, the New 52 Superman and the regular Superman. But, uh, wow, yeah, definitely different. Um, the latest variation of this Superman, the S was sculpted away, and it was also sculpted away on his uh, trousers and his boots. On this Superman, we have a sculpted S, so you can feel it, it's raised. Um, the belt is there, it looks exactly the same. The belt is raised, they just painted over it. Uh, we have no line here for the trousers, and no line for the boots, not raised. But overall, it's very, very, very good. Uh, I'm really happy to get this Superman. Uh, probably the figure I wanted most from this five pack. If we do a quick little comparison, uh, there's a few, just a few other Justice League figures. there's any Justice League diehards just to kind of give you an idea how the new Superman looks with the Justice League he looks pretty awesome great job Mattel thank you for bringing back the original the golden age for me in my childhood of Justice League very very happy to have this figure alright so enough about the JLU heyday um, Let's move on to some of the other figures from this five pack. If we take a look at the DC Comics Unlimited Superman, uh, he he's pretty awesome. The sculpt is incredible. Um, everything is raised. There's texture everywhere. Um, I really, really do like this figure. Um, he's he's kind of I don't want to say pink, but the red is very bright, almost like a pink, almost like uh, Super Friends colors. Um, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I like this cape. Um, it is exactly the same cape as the old school Superman. Um, I'll get into that in just a minute. If we take a look at articulation real quick on this Superman, um, we've got movement at the neck, movement at the shoulder, side to side, up and down. We have movement at the bicep, movement at the elbow, and movement at the wrist. Uh, we also have an ab crunch, so that's nice. We have movement at the waist. Wow. Well, there is a line there. There should be movement at the waist. Um, maybe my figure is just really, really stiff. I don't know. My figure does not want to give me waist articulation, even though he should have it. Um, moving on, we've got movement at the hip, uh, up and down and side to side. We've got movement above the knee and movement at the knee and we have movement at the ankle uh, overall I really like this Superman figure he's probably got more detail on him than any of the other figures from this five pack uh, so I really really do like that uh, he's the most expensive figure too these figures usually run for about 20 bucks um, if we compare him to his counterpart uh, I've got the DC Comics Superman right here. Uh, I never actually took him out of the box. So here's where you can kind of really see the difference. Um, I feel like this Superman is way more comic accurate color-wise uh, than the new Superman we got. 
the Superman is also really, really glossy. Um, glossy, bright. This Superman is... He's bright, but he does not have nearly the same paint job uh, as the original Superman figure. And what I was talking about earlier with the cape, uh, if we flip this Superman figure over, his cape, uh, it's reminiscent of the original cape that we got with Superman. Um, that's the original Superman figure uh, that DC Comics first released in the Mattel line. Uh, for his DC Universe Classics. So, they reused the cape. Uh, it's a cape I wasn't too big a fan of to start. They reused it, so uh, you take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but overall, he is a great looking figure. I really, really do like him. Uh, the cape is a hard plastic, so you can kind of see behind him not too much. Do you get peg holes? So that's great. Uh, he's an awesome, awesome figure. Alright. So now if we take a look at some of the other figures from this toy line. Uh, let's see, let's see. We have the Dawn of Justice Superman. The regular, basic Superman action figure. Um, this sculpt, I'm sure, has been reused multiple times. And this is just the regular Superman figure from uh, Shield Clash Superman. I've got that same figure right here. Absolutely impeccably the same. There, I mean, I cannot find one single difference between these two figures. Uh, it's, um, you know, it depends. If you don't have the regular Superman figure and you want to buy him with something else, then getting him in this five pack is great. Uh, for me, I've already got this Superman a couple times, so it is nothing new for me. Um, the cape is a rubbery material, for those of you who don't know. A little weird, like, old school rubbery material. Um, he's got articulation in the neck, articulation at the shoulder articulation at the elbow up and down and side to side no waist articulation none of the Dawn of Justice figures have that uh, we have movement at the hip and at the knee and that's about it for the Dawn of Justice Superman um, he's got some pretty nice detail uh, if you're not familiar with the figure and that I can really appreciate they took time with the sculpt See, mine has a scuff right there, or maybe that's a mole. I don't know. Something that shouldn't be there on his face. Um, so you definitely have to be careful when you pick up these figures. Make sure you don't get a damaged set or figures that have bad paint. You definitely don't want that. You get peg holes. Uh, and that's really about it. Nice, basic Superman figure. Uh, moving right along, if we take a look at the next figure... The Dawn of Justice Superman. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the figure we were just looking at. This is the Total Heroes Superman. Um, this Superman figure was created to be part of a kid's line. For only $10, you could get a 6-inch action figure that depicted the characters in their new 52 outfits. So that's kind of what this was. Um, I was kind of a fan. The, uh, the worst thing that I could tell you about this toy line is that Every character has these little triangles on their forearm, or on their shoulder. Uh, and it works great for Superman. You say, hey, that's awesome. They use that detail. Uh, you gave him that triangle. But it's on every one of their figures. So, even like a shirtless Hawkman, he's got that tattoo right there. Um, but for Superman, it works great. Not a major fan of this head sculpt. Uh, looks a little odd. But um, overall, I do like the figure. I like that you can get a $10 figure for uh, for your money's worth. It's a 6-inch figure. Mine does have a paint scuff here, too, on the head, if you can see that right there. Um, but uh, probably my favorite, favorite thing about him, when you flip him over, he has the S on the back of the cape. Uh, and that is so Christopher Reeves for me. 
So I really, really do like that. It's a cloth cape. Uh, I do prefer cloth capes. So if you're into Total Heroes at all, uh, the toy line do has some nice. It does have some nice things to offer. Um, all right. If we check out Superman's articulation, we've got movement at the neck, movement at the shoulder, up and down, side to side. We have movement at the elbow, up and down, and side to side. We have movement at the wrist. We have no ab crunch. Uh, we do get waist articulation. And we have movement at the hip, up and down, side to side. Movement at the knee. And movement at the ankle. Uh, all in all, pretty good figure. Uh, earlier I had mentioned that he's a little darker compared to his original counterpart. Um, so let's see. I've got the original... Uh, Total Hero Superman. Um, and I guess in light, he's not not so bad. They really do also look like the exact same figure. Uh, so really, it depends. If you don't have a Total Hero Superman and you would like one, getting him in the 5-pack is probably worth it. Otherwise, probably not. Uh, the S on the original Superman for mine... Uh, was not printed with the best quality if you can see that uh, especially in the yellow uh, but on the new Superman figure the S is superb uh, it's a much much better printed quality uh, but all in all uh, mostly the same figure so uh, take it again with a grain of salt it is what it is uh, but I do like the Total Heroes line. They are some great figures. Uh, awesome, awesome figures. Uh, just don't like those triangles on the shoulders. But other than that, pretty solid. Alright, now if we take a look at the Justice League, or Brave and the Bold Superman. Uh, and I say Brave and the Bold for a reason. Uh, this whole sculpt was not originally for a Justice League toy line like this Superman is described on this box. Um, Justice League is a loose term. Uh, let's see. Do I have him? Yes, I do. This is the original Superman that this toy line came from. Uh, Batman the Brave and the Bold. Uh, in each of these figures, the gimmick was that they had sockets uh, on their sides and on the back of them uh, and even underneath the feet so that way you could attach several or multiple different parts from other figures and combine them and make one really cool looking action figure I guess uh, so when they re-released these toys uh, they plugged up all the holes so that is the main difference here uh, even in the back um, and even at the bottom of the feet uh, so you can see the difference, um, but this sculpt is reused. This is the original. Um, so if you like the classic Superman opposed to the new one, then you may want to find the Brave and the Bold Superman instead. Um, if we take a look at the original release for this Justice League Superman, I have him here, but still in the packaging. Um, and there is, there is a little difference. If you notice, it's in the detail, or I guess what little detail that they gave him. Um, the original Superman, he's got the triangle on his belt, and he's got some linings uh, on his abs. Uh, this new Superman that we got in this five-pack, he's got nothing on the belt and nothing on the uh, abs. So maybe they thought this was a little ridiculous and got rid of it? Uh, I don't know. Also, there's I see some lines on his... Uh, legs and he's got no lines. New 52 is notorious for that. They create new lining on their figures, on their characters, everywhere. You just see little black lines everywhere. I guess that's kind of what the new 52 is. But if you don't have that, uh, but you had it once, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, 
it's really interesting to see if we take a look at Superman's articulation real quick. Um, we've got movement at the neck, movement at the shoulder, movement at the elbow. We have uh, waist swivel, uh, movement at the hip, and that's about it. Uh, almost your your basic basic articulation except for Justice League Unlimited he's got the most limited articulation um, only in the neck and everything's always very very stiff with these figures um, so yes very very limited articulation um, but you get a little bit of everything you get a nice taste of everything in this five pack so it's great to see um, if we were to do a little size comparison um, I'd almost say it's not necessary because you've got figures that cross over from every line uh, I only noticed a few things um, here's a Marvel Legends Iron Man and here is a DC Comics Green Lantern, um, and the only reason why I point this out is because if we take a look at this Superman, uh, who is marked at six inches, um, he stands a lot shorter than the Green Lantern figure. Uh, Kyle Rayner looks like he's taller, wider, and bulkier than Superman. I don't know if that should be. Um, so, but it gives you an idea why Superman's a little shorter, I have no, no idea. Um, compared with the Justice League Unlimited Superman, uh, he is really tiny compared to regular six inch figures. Uh, the Dawn of Justice Superman, uh, he's, he's a figure that's marked at six inches too. Why he's shorter, I still don't know. All the movie figures are shorter, uh, even though he's marked at six inches. Uh, if we take a look at the total heroes, Superman, uh, he fits in a little bit better. He's taller. He's still shorter, uh, but it's not as bad. And if we take a look at the Justice League Superman, Green Lantern. Uh, he's definitely shorter than the six inch figure. But uh, overall, that kind of gives you an idea of what we really got in this five pack. Um, it was interesting to see. And I can definitely say that uh, for 40 bucks, it was not a bad deal. If you're trying to buy someone a present, um, or if you're just looking to up your Superman game, get some more figures this is a great five pack um, I can't complain too much so I'm definitely excited to have these figures uh, I got the Batman set too so I'll be reviewing that shortly um, overall a great bunch of figures uh, everyone has a little niche or flaw and you, you know you take it as you like it um, but for 40 bucks this really is not Once again, this is Brandon. Thanks for watching.